Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brown from the BTN HD, and today is another MDT 2013 update 2 video for you guys, and it's all about integrating or pushing out chocolate tea within your environment using MDT. So I've been getting into the chocolate tea world, and I'm loving it so far. I want to see how can I incorporate it inside my MDT deployment. So I created a task sequence that allows me to deploy the chocolate tea. Uh, tools within you know a deployment and allows me to push out packages so this is what I did so within my task sequence I created a folder right here uh, where is it so I created a folder Windows 10 x64 chocolatey and I created a task sequence and it's it's super simple to do this guys because the the website gives you all the information the chocolatey website gives you all this information so within my custom tasks i created three variables one is to install it one is to restart the machine and then another one is to restart the package now the install one is just calling out a batch script that i uh, created within my uh, btnhd folder within my script folder which i'm going to show you guys and then this is just a restart command and then you got the package again which is a a batch script that i have within my script folder which i'm going to show you guys right now so let's go inside of file explorer and we're going inside the c drive deployment share uh the scripts folder btnhd because that's where i drop all my stuff and i created this custom folder called choco and these are the two batch files uh, the first one is real simple, so we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to edit. Now this command, I got it within the site. They give you the three commands to do it within a batch script, a PowerShell, and also a command line. So it's really simple, okay? So all I did was copy and paste it within the site. I'm going to place all this information at uh, my site and place the link at the bottom of the description so you guys can get a copy of it. And the next thing that I did was I created this install template. You could call it whatever you want. So I'm going to right click on it. And within the deployment, it's just going to push out Notepad++. And that's it. So this is the command or the commandlet. Install the name of the package. And uh, dash dash yes basically just confirms it. It won't stop. It just confirms yes and it's automatically going to push out the package for you. Okay. So let's see this in action. So uh, once you cut your task sequence, you're going to, you know, update your deployment. Let's update the deployment. Click next, next. And while that's updating, let's go into file. Oh, that's actually just create a folder inside my E drive. And we're going to call it BJ-test. All right. And we are going to copy that path. Our deployment is updated. Awesome. We're going to go to file, new next next we are going to push out a windows 1064 next and we're going to drop this vm inside that folder that we created together uh, 60 gigs is enough and we're going to click finish now i'm doing everything as a pixie boot because i love pixie booting stuff over the network and we're going to power on our virtual machine and I am going to click on F12 like a madman so I can get inside our environment. We're going to boot inside our 64-bit. You're going to hit enter. Okay, from here we're going to pick our uh, task sequence that's going to push out our commandlet, which is this one right here. You're going to click on it, and we're going to click on next. And that's it. Well, that's it for me because if you guys have been following me within my MDT uh, series and all the videos that I've been doing with you guys, I have my MDT configured to the point that it's going to do everything automatically. And all I have to do is just pick the task sequence and it's just going to automatically do what it needs to do. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to cut the video right here and I'm going to start the video once we're inside the desktop and hopefully everything gets installed and our package, which is the Notepad++, gets installed. And then uh, it looks like we're almost there. Okay, guys, so it looks like we're inside our deployment and it's in the part of installing our chocolatey uh, commandlet within our environment. So I'm super excited. Once this is completed, what's going to happen is it's going to reboot. Once the reboot is completed and you're back inside your desktop, that's when the option of installing our custom um, package 
which our package is basically our notepad plus plus is going to be installed but again you could actually have other packages attached to this one particular batch file that I had okay so what do I mean so let's go inside C drive let's go inside deployment share let's go to scripts uh, BTNHD and this folder choco and then in, within this batch file I could have notepad plus plus I could have Fizilla I could have Silverlight I could have flash player in one line and have all that stuff installed automatically using this commandlet which is awesome but for now I'm just installing the notepad plus plus and let's close all this stuff up cancel this let's go back into our uh, test virtual machine it's still installing but once it's completed, it's going to reboot, and then it's going to install the Notepad++ for us. Okay, guys, so it looks like our deployment is completed. That is always a good thing. So let's go inside our Start menu, and let's go to All Apps. And let's go, oh, automatically, there goes our Notepad++. How awesome is that? Our Notepad++ was installed, but did it really install our commandlet? Let's test it out. So let's go to start. Let's go to all apps. Let's go all the way to the bottom and let's locate PowerShell. So I'm going to right click on Windows PowerShell. I'm going to run it as an administrator. I'm going to close this notepad plus plus. I'm going to do a CD backslash. I'm going to clear this information out and let's test it out. Let's see if our commandlet was installed. So let's go to Choco install let's say filezilla dash dash yes because I want to confirm it hit enter and look at that guys our commandlet was installed within MDT this is beautiful this is an awesome thing hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below I'm going to try my hardest to place this information at my website if I do forget to place the link at the description, please leave a comment right below. Let me know, you know, kick me in the butt. Say, hey, Bernardo, where's the link with the information? And I get to it as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.